Your probably preferred way of monetization for a marketplace is charging a take rate or a commission of some sort. And you look at B2B marketplaces that their producers, their suppliers could be some mixture of distributors um, or suppliers and manufacturers, right? Are you seeing anything in, in terms of that, that, that preference, right? Where, for example, maybe if the, if the marketplace is aggregating supply more from the actual manufacturers, they have a greater, greater ability to charge a take rate. Or, you know, if they're aggregating supply amongst distributors, that's maybe doesn't reflect as positively, right? Are there kind of cues when you think about quality or caliber of like supply aggregation that then feeds back into how well you think that marketplace could ultimately monetize? The answer is it usually is, is it depends. <laughs> it matters less whether or not you're getting supply from directly from manufacturers versus uh, distributors versus how fragmented is the so, supplier base, be they yeah, distributors or manufacturers, and how commoditized is the product that you're buying? Uh, is it completely fungible, or or, or there's like specific uh, specifications and differences between what's provided by the different parties, and therefore you're more RFQ driven versus you know it's just a a marketplace you can just say buy and and, and you're done, and so. The fungibility of the uh, of, of of the supply and also the transportability matters a lot, and 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 the and, and even the, um, the the fragmentation may not matter at a global level, may matter at actually at a hyper local level. So if you're a let me give you an example of a of a gravel marketplace in Germany called Schutflex. Um, so they they deliver gravel to construction sites or for building roads, and they're doing a couple hundred million a year in GMV, and there. The marketplace because you can basically deliver from the queries to the construction sites or the road building etc from pretty much anywhere in germany and anywhere uh they can take an effective take rate uh and and, and it's and it's an effective business so the country's not that large and there are a lot of queries in the us you're not going to be shipping gravel from california to new york and it just so happens that in let's say a place like new york there's going to be a few queries that are that are, maybe it's a duopoly or an oligopoly so your ability to take take rate is much lower even though on paper it looks like a fungible good that's a commodity and so you know as usual the answer is it depends uh, usually on local market concert on concentration on either side of the market for uh, for what you're taking. The more concentrated it is, the lower your ability to take a rake. And then there's some categories where there's much, depending on what the end user margin structure looks like, there may be more or less elasticity of supply and demand. So you typically take your rake on the more inelastic part of the uh, uh, of, of the curve, we did on the buy side of the, uh, or the sell side. Um, but again, we've seen literally everything. Sometimes you charge the buyer, sometimes you charge the seller, sometimes you charge 1%, sometimes 5 sometimes and sometimes nothing. Uh, and it's one of the things you really, really need to test and think through, think through hard. Yep. Yeah, Shootflix is in our European top 25. 